I started photography in about 1982 at New York University. Setting pictures up or putting myself in it really allowed me to control the viewer's interpretation of the reading a little bit more and also it gave me the freedom to depict or convey certain attitudes I had toward what I was looking at. I enjoy looking at the, the line between what's constructed, what's documentary, and portraiture as well. That's always been something that's intrigued me. And that's what I'm doing up to about a year ago, a year and a half ago. I did always put myself in the picture, but I recently did a, an exhibition out in Dubai at Third Line called Al Sawaber. And that was the first time I came back to documentary photography, really. And that was documenting a housing development that was slated for demolition. And they evacuated everybody. They gave everybody three days to leave. I started to document the spaces there. The objects that were left behind, I, don't, I wouldn't call them the extremely personal ones. I think the things they really wanted, they took uh, on their first or second move. I mean, they were told they have three days, but people have been moving out two years later. So I didn't start going in until about the second or third move. What did strike me about the spaces more than anything is like the various religions in, in that space living in such close proximity and the different cultures as well, and the nationalities, I mean. Um, I think that struck me more than necessarily objects that were left behind. I didn't want to be doing commercial work. Um, I didn't really enjoy that. There was nothing really in it that interested me. And I, I think most what I liked about teaching is just to be around people that would be challenging me and, and forcing me to challenge my own ideas as well. And it keeps me working as well too. I don't think you can yell at a student, tell them to get to work if you're not working yourself. And so I like that, it keeps me active, I'd say.